Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading for you, your next 48 hour reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for those people who have gotten a private reading. Those do take about 24 hours to 48 hours turnaround because I get busy. And the upload speeds is mainly because of the upload speeds. But... Ooh, okay. Connecting to our heart space. <clears throat> okay, messages for the sign of Aquarius. Asking that their spirit guides, angels, join us so that we get messages that's for their greater good. Always to move them forward. Next 48 hours is what I'm aiming for. It can be a little different according to you. What you're going through. Golly day. Okay. Going through some hurt and some major betrayal. Usually this is somebody close to you or that you really care about. Um, because it would be like death by a thousand paper cuts. It's just like over and over and over. So there's a lot, a lot of um, hurt and feeling like betrayal energy. The hanged one, the hierophant. Dang, the judgment. Whew. Oh my gosh, Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Swords, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed, Two of Cups reversed. Almost the best one I've seen because <laughs> they've been really rough. Um, but we're waiting, okay? Either we're waiting on somebody to commit or we're waiting on some issues, uh, a judgment, um, an announcement. We were waiting. We've been patiently waiting here. Obviously, we can see from an enlightened perspective. It might have to do with this King of Pentacles because I'm pull being pulled to that yellow um, on the background there. Like being so enlightened. Maybe about business or something to do with business. Money, finances, family finances. Um, the Wheel of Fortune in the past is something that turned for your favor, in your favor, luck turning for you. We have the Hierophant's Taurus, we have Virgo possibly, Sagittarius, Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Nine of Wands is like persistent, and it is not giving up here, even though you feel like it wasn't worth it or that your investment that you're not getting out what you at the moment you feel like I'm not getting paid back for my investment I feel like you do I feel like you do and I feel like that's evident with the king of pentacles there's two kings here there's a lot of action you're one of the characters taking this action Aquarius that's your energy king of swords being really in control and disciplined at this time I like it I like it What's the Seven of Pentacles about? And we're we're going to clarify everything. So don't you worry about that. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? What's the Seven of Pentacles about? <laughs> I don't know. The moon. We don't know. We really don't know. It, it could be about things that are to come. It, it's the unknown in a sense. It's really mysterious here. And I'm also feeling like for some of you, the challenge could be recognizing your spiritual gifts, especially when, you know, you may not be in a very supportive environment where people can help you foster your growth. Maybe focusing either on a court issue with an announcement with that, with that six of pentacles, or Something needs to be made right. Something that doesn't feel right is going to be made right. Made right. Nine of Wands. Three of Swords in the reverse. We're really letting go whether we care or not about something that's hurt us in the past. It was heartbreaking. There was sorrow. There was loss. But Three of Swords in the reverse is like, I'm doing okay, though, and I'm able to let go of this. I can still be persistent, not give up um, ever, and, and let go of any heartache. Maybe because of these wounds that we acquired while defending something or standing up for someone or something. What's this um, hanged one about? 
Page of Swords in the reverse. Mm. Hanging around, trying to get a different perspective because what you're hearing, you're hearing a lot of different things. It's not all true. So that's kind of like the challenge is what you're hearing around you. Of course, this could do with a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. Um, but there's a need for you to do your own investigating or your own investigation, I guess. What's the judgment about? Usually this is about forgiveness, guys. I don't know if, if, if we're, that's what we're thinking about is forgiveness. Yeah, somebody, okay, somebody maybe is dealing with authority or somebody in authority because of them either using their love to like manipulate or this is just someone who was not taking very good care of themselves letting their health slide and stuff like that so i don't know i don't know or maybe somebody was off wasn't themselves it's connecting to this uh king of swords taurus energy taurus energy aquarius sagittarius we have the Queen of Cups here in the reverse, too. With the judgment. Suffering. It's, okay, somebody could be suffering some health issues because of choices that they made that where it was like they kind of knew that they would have. Um, or that it wasn't completely unknown that they would have some maybe health issues. So maybe dealing with some health issues. Feeling like somebody might have given up, but I don't think they have... 999999 wanted to give up energy on this partnership wanting to just be independent from it this is really good financial gain too a windfall some of you might be taking their snail's time <laughs> you know what i mean like a snail's pace clarify the queen of cups king of cups and the emperor in reverse, once again, dealing with possibly or, or maybe fearing dealing with authority or facing authority, not moving forward out of fear. But it's paired with really this king of cups who is master over his mood, knows exactly how to handle the emotions. Whereas the queen of cups in the reverse might not know how to handle their emotions very well. This could be Scorpio. This could be Aries energy. I'd say something about who's in power is going to change or what. Yeah, who's in power, what's in power. And something's ending. A partnership is going to end. Why or what is that about? Two cups in the reverse. What is that about? The star. It's about something that you have wanted to manifest. It's been, it's something that you have wanted for a long time. Look at the little flamingo, pink flamingo. Maybe you are in transition. That's nice, guys. Five of swords. Watch out for the blame game, trying to blame other people or, you know, whatever. You might be blaming yourself unjustly, too. Let's get something from the Wisdom of the Oracles to close out your reading. I didn't touch much on this, but the King of Pentacles here is um is really big success probably because of this wheel turning this new cycle um of success and stability and it might have to do with the taurus energy aquarius your energy up there with gemini or cancer yeah so this is not not bad and and look you've got two you've got two cards where they're looking through this um magnifying glass so king of cups and the observer that's that's so crazy looking um maybe looking at the stars or you may be looking out for somebody you may be just observing things and watching things unfold you know as they will you may be feeling like somebody gave up that might be it but we also have a challenge with the soulmates card. Hmm. Soulmate and separation, not giving up, 
waiting on commitment or waiting for somebody to be able to commit. And then I have time to go. It's time to leave this experience behind and something else is going to happen. You've pretty much learned everything you can learn at this stage. I have soulmates. This is really nice. I like that. And then what is fated will be, what is fated will be, wheel of fortune, fate, destiny. Ta-da! That's really nice. And then you got the stars, your outcome. This is a good reading, guys. Let's pull from the Real Talk deck, and I'm going to close it. For Aquarius, Real Talk, Real Talk. Connected. Still connected, even if you're separated, still connected. Recognition, be willing to accept praise and recognition when it's due. It's empowering to feel valued and seen. Patting yourself on the back or accepting compliments from others can be a gift that keeps on giving. Connected, you're always connected to the wisdom of your higher self and everything around you. Take cues from your energy level and intuition. It is just as important to know when to disconnect for your own well-being. Transmute. You have the ability to transform tough times and challenging energy into a multitude of things. Let your heart space lead the way as you transmute your struggles into wisdom and wonder and beauty. The beauty that you recognize in the world is simply a reflection of your own. Take time to appreciate all the beauty inside and out of your life. This is a way of instantly shifting your perspective to one of gratitude. Beauty. What I've got. That was real talk from Etsy. Sending you love and light, Aquarius. Bye, guys.